down, down, count. Feel neither science guy. Science <laughs> rule. <laughs> I'm in control now. Active in. We're in the control. Okay. So right here is what led me here, the root to my addiction, to our addiction. I put alcohol. Oh shit. <laughs> this is a. This is the doctor's uh, email. She wants to, when we're done with the vlog, I'm gonna I'm gonna email it to you. I have it right on top of all the papers. So I just, okay, so PTSD, trauma, uh, traumatic stress disorder, uh, mental condition. It's a distraught mindset, and that's the trauma is a psychological and emotional experiences that impact us in a negative way, and then um, no self worth. From abuse, uh, bad health, in and out of ER. I was going through just like a bunch of stuff that is one of the things that I was always trying to run from on trying not to deal with. And that's why I always drink. Mm -hmm. Did you want to add anything else that we could put over here? Oh, we're just doing the basics of it. Okay. Start with so yours. there's that. And then, um, so this is the active addict that we are. This right here is the transition phase of becoming sober, our little time lapse, relapses, time of relapses. This is where we're trying to learn how to become sober. And I guess the point of this is to just kind of like explain why, how, and where we're going and how we're dealing with it, the processing process the um I was way more intuitive yesterday because it was like literally right afterwards I was like damn I couldn't even see the letter he didn't even charge it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's still going now. Okay. Sure. <laughs> is this the yeah. Oh it is. Looking at it. Okay. Science. Okay. So the things that kind of like the during the transition and uh, the times of relapse what was like helping us through this struggle? I put reframe. We, we had to, to learn how to reframe our structure, rebuild our priorities to sustain balance in our life. Peer support is one of the main things that I know that, um, that helped me because like seriously, there was when I had that meltdown and I just, I like, I couldn't stop obsessing over needing to drink alcohol because I knew when I go through these manic episodes, of just like obsessing the, the the desire to drink and 
all of the you're feeling all of these emotions and learning how to be sober again and it can be overwhelming very overwhelming and so peer support was what pulled me through my manager was so uh, being resilient so I ended up relapsing which everybody does at some point and then you don't stay down when you get when you get a weak moment you just like you get back up and what uh, I think the daily routines the structure versus the chaos, molding healthy habits, diet, exercise, meditation, focus, brain, storming, prayer is what helps um, majority of us because uh, of the serenity prayer. To me, God, strengthening my relationship with God is what really brought me here because I know you drink so much and you get hung over, you get sick and you lose everything, you go through depression and you're going through all of this. And then you pray and you're like, oh, God, please let me, um, help me, get me, get me on the right path. And then so, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, because I go by Trinity. And I was like, I was, I was like, Trinity, because I'm Christian. And then I was like, hey, that reminds me of thy own self be true coin that we get has a little, little, um, triangle in it. And I thought that was neat because it reminded me of Trinity. <laughs> and it's all body, mind, and soul. Son's the body, the Holy Spirit's the soul, God's the... Uh, the Father is like the mind. The Holy Spirit is like breath, greatness, hope, Holy Spirit, praise, uh, worship, thankfulness, dancing, appreciation, brings joy and happiness, energy and uh, endurance. The mind, God, the Father, highest majesty. I, that's why I like to call him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, create the strong, stronger mindset, prayer, self-awareness, focus, meditation, brainstorming. The body, uh, when you like health diet exercise you know you really want to focus on rebuilding your life and and self-worth and affirmation self-love protect your essence is um something new that i was like you don't just like you know you have to protect yourself okay and then in the in control make like what well, you're in the control right now you're rebuilding you're rebuilding yourself you're rebuilding um you're becoming a healing addict. And you're in control. So you get to make the choices that you are. What is it that you want? Reframing everything, rebuilding priorities. See a vision of your life, um, your life's vision. What are your values? What do you want to leave as your legacy, your dash? right here is your entire life and from being an addict um and then going through the healing process and then your future you will always be trying to fight the um the desire to drink you're always gonna need no matter what even if it's not just the, the desire to drink or to do drugs or anything like no matter what through life you're gonna like want to become a better person you don't want to stay stagnant and in place and come and be like um i want to say compliancy but Whatever, I don't think I'm using that word in the right way. <laughs> but you want like to keep factory. moving <laughs> forward. Don't stay stagnant. So even in all of like just living a healthy, better life to become better, this is a good concept to have in your mind and to just kind of like mold it into your own perspective, into your own things. Um, I'm like, I don't know. I keep forgetting. I don't know which one to forget. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, so what I wrote down was I want to make my ancestors proud of my endurance that um, through life's trials and tribulations that I've gone through and overcoming the darkness by spreading hope and love and understanding and light to uh, everyone around that you meet, everyone that you talk to, everyone that just comes across your path, even if it's for a long time or short time, you know, I want to make them proud of like the impact or the imprint that I could leave on their life. And uh, I want to become someone I would admire. I want, and this one's just kind of like literal, like what are my goals? Like for right now, I want to vlog documents, create a series of episodes of something that I could do for the people that are just interested in living a better lifestyle and how I overcame from being a shitty ass person. <laughs> sorry for my language. I know, sorry mom. <laughs> but from being a really just hope person I was really hopeless like I literally was in deep depression and suicidal and just 
did, I was drinking myself to death on purpose. And I just don't want to be that anymore. And now I'm like, now that I'm healing and rebuilding this concept and like figuring things out, I'm like, dude, like I can have a future and then I can put goals on for myself because I am getting better and I want to get better. And now it's time for me to start working and striving for that. So I want to travel and reach out to people who are lost and confused and sad like I was and I'll give testimony of hope and it is possible to find life's worth worth living. And um, I don't know what else. What else I put down? A newly future sober. So this is a newly future being sober. This is where you don't know what it is, but you just know it is your chance to imagine and envision yourself becoming better. Envision yourself, your future self, a better like like being happy. Joy, understanding, Ma I want to say like mature, emotionally mature because going through this process, starting everything to becoming a better person in yourself, against yourself versus being your old chaotic self and becoming a new better person that's more put together at least, like because my mind is all scattered and everywhere. I mean, I'm ADD, ADHD, dog. <laughs> Back to A B C D T H N C Vitamins A B C T H C Just kidding. But yeah. Um be resilient. Who you are becoming and sustain what you obtain. Be all you can be. Walk in and um purpose. Help others who are stuck in their confusion. Have faith. Believe you can and what is your uh label yourself well don't do that don't label yourself because we all all of us go through struggles and everything and so it's no point in trying to beat yourself up be led by your heart for god speak about what will be impactful you know we don't just i i know what it feels like to just live to survive or you fight to survive and there's no living like you you're not living your life because you're working so hard to keep keep things and to pay for the bills and to have just to survive this life of the economy and right now i would just say don't forget to have a heart full of memories <laughs> how did i say a heart i'd rather have a heart full of memories than a house full of things because you ain't taking it with you let's let's go travel let's go have fun let's go meet people and just enjoy ourselves every single day instead of working so hard to buy this and buy that instead how about taking your kids out to the park and going to the museum teach them things teach them the world i want to be able to do that with my kids and they're old enough to be able to do stuff now like that and i want to be able to do that now that i'm becoming sober and a better person that's what i want for my kids i want them to i want to be able to teach them really cool fun things that are like you can keep doing this in life and not have to just work so hard and then you know, what the heck, I'm old, I missed everything. That, that would suck. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know, for some reason, I get joy out of learning. And so my grandpa always used to say, there's no age limit on education. Never feel like you're too old to go to school. Because I remember I dropped out of high school when I had my kids in high school. I have two kids, and um, I had them when I was in high school, and I kept dropping out of high school. But he just told me, like, you're never too old because he's like, why do you keep dropping out? And I was like, because I don't feel comfortable being around um, other people that are younger than me. And he's like, you're not that much older than them. And he's like, that's just your mindset. Change your mindset. And at the time, I'm too young to even know what he's talking about. But now that I look back at it, he had some really good advice. And, and I still hold on to that advice today. So thank you, Grandma. <laughs> and well, thank you. Love you, Grandma. <laughs> I mean, and grandma's nurse. I'm here. I'm sober. I'm learning. I'm helping people. I'm making an impact on life somehow, some way. <laughs> Be confident. Have peaceful, joyful, giving love, understanding, and, and evolve your thought process. And I thought you were going to like jump in and chime in once <laughs> oh, in a while. You're just like so quiet in the background. The one, <laughs> you don't have to take the one yet. You know, the final one. I'm getting ideas to shoot it on Sunday, yeah. Um, so the other one, I don't really know what I want to do with the other one. You've been going for like almost 20 minutes now. We should have went 10. Your goal is 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Minutes. Well then. No, you're good though. To be continued. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to make another vlog on Sunday. Okay. Ready? So, oh.